Health Spotlight, presented by Community Health Network. Well, thousands of people will have a pacemaker implanted to shock their heart back into action after experiencing cardiac arrest. But both come with complications. Now new technology may prove to be a lifesaver for people who suffer from cardiac arrest. And here are the details in today's Health Spotlight. This used to be Cartier Field. 84-year-old Joe Mulligan lives and breathes for the Fighting Irish. This was before they built Notre Dame Stadium in 1929. As a 1959 alum, Joe gives tours of the campus, sings in the choir, and of course, never misses a game. In fact, it was 10 years ago when... The weekend of the Notre Dame Navy game, and I got up that morning and felt terrible. That was the first sign of his first cardiac arrest. Five years later, it happened again. When the heart stops pumping blood, there's no blood going to the brain, and within about five to ten seconds, the patient will collapse. Traditionally, Joe would be given an implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD. It uses thin wires or leads that are placed directly into the heart to deliver electric currents if his heart stops again. There are electrical cables surrounded by insulation, and over time, uh, these leads have the potential to break or to fail. Northwestern electrophysiologist Bradley Knight instead used a first-of-its-kind extravascular implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or EVICD. The difference? It doesn't place wires directly into the heart. A major advantage of that approach is that the lead is now under the bone, not on top of the bone. The energy it takes to shock the heart is significantly lower. A worldwide clinical trial found the EVICD was 98% effective. 92% of patients experienced no major complications. The new ICD lasts up to 11 years, compared to 8 years for the traditional one, using less electricity with less risk of blockage of veins and blood infections. Most patients who receive an appropriate shock for a cardiac arrest is life-saving. They would not have survived that event without an implantable defibrillator. Using cellular data or Wi-Fi, the EVICD also tracks if the device is ever used. Last year, Joe didn't even realize it, but his heart stopped again. The EVICD shocked his heart back into motion and alerted his doctor. So far, it saved my life once. And now, Joe is looking forward to many more games, celebrating his team and his life. I'm Kylie Conway for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Well, the device is not yet FDA approved, but Medtronic has received approval to continue a study and hopes to make it available to all patients who need it within the next few months.